minds Changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Show some love Hold each other's hands In confidence we'll make the world I was talking to some folks the other time and I said, let's be honest, the breakup that hurts the most is mm. the breakup that, you know, sex you know, sex was involved. involved. And actually, that is so because you brought in something mm -hmm. that was not supposed to be there, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. we have to stay with the biblical, you know, you know, uh, views. principles, views principles. that sex is supposed to happen in marriage. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching. This is part of my show. Yes. You understand? Yes. Now, when you take that bonding element and bring it into that, where where the hell do we have soul ties? Mmm, the sex. Mm -hmm. It's 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 that's that and all this is showing you that sex is one very powerful and it is spiritual. Very it's very spiritual. Like you said. Very, very I spiritual. like that, Pastor Idiom. We're talking to Pastor Paul Idiom here in the studio on sex in religion. Mm -hmm. We have learned a couple of things. Sex is anointed, sex is spiritual, and sex bonds two people together to become one. And Abraham knew Sarah. Mm -hmm. And you should know your spec as a man. And as a woman, you should also know your spec as well. Now, Pastor Paul, rape. On the issue of rape, recently, the church has been in the news negatively, negatively. with regards to rape and okay. raping people and all of that stuff. Okay. What is your take on rape in the church? The rape in the church, I think as long as we have um, people going to church and people who have um, leadership or, you know, you know, have one or two things to do with church, mm -hmm. but cannot, you know, put a rein on their sexual, you know, orgies, mm -hmm. then we are always going to have a rape, rape issue. So how do we deal with it? I don't think it is on the increase. I think okay. it's actually it's so getting more do, revealed. We're in a season when away. things are becoming okay. more, more obvious. obvious. It's always been there. It's always been there. So you now know, people are just maybe, getting caught. Yeah. People that are not you know, um, you know, like somebody said, the church is a, a hospital, mm -hmm. you know, and so people sick are responsible. People. They have a whole lot of sick people coming, yeah. you understand? And again, the hypocrisy about the whole thing, you mm -hmm. know, people want to, you know, um, you know, act like, you know, they're holy, you know, you know, you know, and, you know, if you have a sexual problem, go meet, meet a pastor, meet a psychologist, and meet, talk meet about somebody, it. you know, go meet, you know, pray, seek help, spiritual you know, help, help and physical help, 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 you know, instead of, you know, going to rape people, running around and, you know. <laughs> and you know, one thing that is really getting to me, um, recently I actually had somebody come talk to me mm -hmm. about being raped by a pastor. Okay. And this pastor is actually married and I couldn't understand why a pastor who is married is raping somebody and matter of fact she actually got pregnant and had to abort the child because the pastor threatened fire and brimstone if the wife were to find out if you let my wife find out that i was actually um responsible for it or oh, you're going to get it i'm going to kill you and, and i'm beginning to wonder what do you think could possibly be wrong with such well let, let me start let me start by saying um that sex is not something you know you know i guess this is the reason why a lot of people are shying away from it sex is not it's a very very when when god was talking warning us about sex he didn't say stand and buy mm -hmm. fornication he said flee, <laughs> flee. because it's so like powerful it's so powerful yes, that yes. no matter how anointed you are mm -hmm. you are not supposed to stand and bind you're supposed to flee Run, fun, you understand so flee. you know a man of god um, you know, falling into temptation mm. is not is nothing new because yes, you are still flesh and blood. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Still flesh and blood. Yes, sir. If David, a man after God's heart, you could know, says when King Fall. went to war, could you know he saw Bathsheba's you know naked body and then he lost it. He lost every you know sense. He forgot at that moment that I he was an anointed man of God. Right. You know, so that's anything right. kind of happen. So so um. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. It's sad that that could, that should happen. And that is actually that that is actually happening right now in the body of Christ. And mm -hmm. the funny thing about it is that I have noticed that the wives are so silent about it because if the wife were to talk about it, it's going to raise a lot of dust That's for the them. Thing. Yes, and you know, um, some women actually think that marriage is a do or die affair, and having to be a member of a church and a clergy class. Mm -hmm. So um, coming out to say my husband raped somebody 
Matter of fact, I've seen and I've heard pastor's wife begging the victims of rape, whom the husband had raped, to please forgive her and the husband for what just happened. And to me, I just feel that that is not enough. I understand apologizing and begging for forgiveness, mm. but when you traumatize another mm. person's life, Life. you should come out and apologize for it. Mm. And these are the kind of pastors that I have seen that, that is so judgmental in the body of Christ. Right. And I pray that God will heal the church with True. regards to rape. Mm. Now my question to you now on this other topic is, do you think that there is a particular way that a lady could dress and come to church that would make a, mm -hmm. a man wants to rape her? I think James, I think James 1, 4, so mm -hmm. talks about, um, talks about that he said, the, the scripture says, he said, a man is tempted when he's drawn away by his own lust. Mm -hmm. By his own, own lust. lust. So the lust is in, in the, the man. man. Yes, there may be some um, kind of um, picture mm. that the man may, may see, the kind of dressing mm -hmm. may contribute to it. But just as long as, just as much as a man would not um make love in a market square because mm -hmm. you are aroused mm -hmm. you control yourself you know that this is a public, public space, place and you will not do i believe that you can control your urges yourself, so yourself. for any man to go out and rape it's not just like sex is not an accidental activity of course it's planned. <laughs> you, see, you you book the place you book the venue you mm -hmm. you, 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 talk about you, you talk about it there was there were phone calls uh -huh. you know so i don't believe that rape rape is a very intentional act, act. and i believe that the culprit should, should be, be made to, to book know, and to actually pay to, for yeah, it pay well for i'm out and i actually since i mean i keep saying that i'm a victim of rape i've been a victim of rape and i keep saying that there's no amount of anything anybody's going to say to me that um, dress code is a contributory no. part to it. I'm just giving my own mm -hmm. views now that, you know, um, it's just not there because now we're hearing people raping three months old baby. Diapers? That was, it, it, that's why I said it's, yeah, I think it is, it is a mental it's issue. This, yeah, it's, it's a mental issue. Money. That's why the Bible says drawn away by, by his own loss. You understand? understand? And even if you saw a, a lady Naked. that is, yeah, are you not supposed to be, before there is a Move rape, there yeah. must be a sustained look like what yeah. happened to David. He's, he, he sat on his balcony, was watching, was watching and was looked out. and saw her naked. He could have just said, Oh my god, uh, oh my god, and then, uh, but you know, you, you enjoyed know, the, 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 the look, view and then, the then, view. then images started forming in your head, and then you, you're like, you How know, can I hold it? And then because you are, e e um, you're not disciplined, mm. how can I hold it? How can I touch it? I want to grab it when you could have just easily done what the scriptures say <laughs> flee away from that yeah, yeah. what would you say mm -hmm. about this hypocritical attitude and conduct that the church has with regards to sex because i believe that people are having sex in church whether it's um out of fornication or adultery we got these people in church but why can't the church just address it head on I said, this is wrong, this is not right, but they're having this hypocritical out, um, outlook. This, they're taking this um, sit on the fence kind of attitude with regards to sex topic when it's actually happening in the church. What's your take on that? Well, I think, I think for me, mm -hmm. like I said earlier, you know, we now have this um, um, sex education. Okay. You understand from, you know, from where, because you don't want, um, you don't want your kids learning it from you know, outside, yeah, outside us, internet, who, yeah, internet, friends, and then peers. friends and that will teach them, you know, a twisted and a, you know, <laughs> should I use the word, uh, yeah, twisted, uh, yes, right. twisted, you know, right. version or, you know, stuff about um, sex. sex. So I think the church, I think the church should even have programs where they come, you know, Talk about, Talk about sex. It. And again, what what are we doing in our marriage classes? What are we doing mm. in marriage classes? Let's, let's also be, I think there should That's be, yes, there, there, there should be some courses on sex. And then if you need to, if you can't talk about it because you feel, you know, the problem with the church is that they feel it's, too dirty, you mm. know. Sex is like yes, yeah. The feel is a, a dirty, How can you know. Something created by God be dirty. Yeah, I, I think it's there's a way you can go about it. There's a way you could go about it. If you need to explain, look, if you are afraid uh -huh. because, or if you're trying not to, you know, you know, introduce or in quotes, mm -hmm. you know, make children hear things like that. Make it, you know, adult, adult, yeah, adult, adult you know, adult thing. thing. Uh, and the truth, let, let, let's, let's not, let's not blanket the whole thing. Mm -hmm. There are some pastors and some churches that are actually taking out time and, you know, 
talking you about it talking now about it because it's a problem it's a big it's a, problem it's a very big problem in the church you to know, talk about uh, it yes, so. and we are in the studio talking talking with pastor paul idio and let us be very clear on this thing sex is a beautiful act created by god to be enjoyed by two married people, people. so yeah. don't ever think that sex is a dirty act it's one of the most beautiful act that god has created for mankind to enjoy here and i'm actually enjoying this conversation but paul i'm gonna have to let you go very soon but let me ask you this question what do you think as a pastor that christian couples can do for themselves to actually be free in expressing themselves sexually because i also believe that um, married people are lying to themselves sexually as okay. well they're not being open to themselves they're not talking about it they're not free to express what they feel about each other sexually not to talk of being able to educate other people what can they do I, I think they should stop demonizing sex because you know when you think this thing is dirty like it's that. not something something you know you try mm. to shy away from it from it i want you to look at it as something that god created you know for not just let's stress this point mm. not just procreation yeah, that's right it's for enjoyment. enjoyment i think solomon talked about let the you know her breast satisfy you Ooh, yes he did so brother so solomon did that a satisfactory yeah, <laughs> the yeah. effect of the breast that's right for a married Ooh. man so i think mm. <laughs> our studio pastor paul Lidio is giving us scriptures here and that is actually the truth so let the wife of your you do you good and let her breast satisfy you enjoy it drink water from your own pot and well and stop looking for other people's pot to go and pollute okay i'm gonna i'm gonna have to draw the curtains on this particular episode but before i go pastor paul idiom i want to say thank you for having um come Pleasure to the show for us but what would be your closing thought on sex in religion to encourage our brothers and our sisters that sex is actually a beautiful thing when done in the confinement of marriage you just said it you just <laughs> said it it's a beautiful thing it's not something to be um ashamed of mm -hmm. it is something to be enjoyed not something to be endured mm -hmm. and um you know when you do it well you know you know even your spiritual life will be affected positively that's right that's because right because a man that sometimes some of the frustrations and outbursts you see out here mm -hmm. in the world in the place of work is mm -hmm. because some people are not sexually you know satisfied, satisfied. Ooh, we said that on his closing thoughts pastor paul Leon, thank, thank you so much for coming to the princess part of Pabby show i have enjoyed mind. having you here in the studio with us god bless you and may god take your ministry further than where it is Amen. in jesus name Amen. now after all is said and done i want you to know that you owe yourself a responsibility to be happy in this life whatever you do with your husband and whatever you do with your wife that is your business religion cannot exist without sex and procreation god created sex to be enjoyed by man and wife learn to love yourself learn to express love to one another remember sex is not a dirty act but rather sex is a very beautiful thing and so religion should never come in between husbands and wife and remember the marriage bed should be undefiled for god would judge those who defiled it and i always as i always say if you love yourself you can love anybody how much more then we're talking about your husband and your wife remember you will be held accountable and how you spend your life here on that. Your happiness is your choice. It's a personal choice to be happy. Nobody on earth can make you happy. Let us as mortals stop judging mortals. That is changing minds and changing attitudes. Until I come again on another episode, I am Princess Pat Akpabio. And as always, do take care of yourself. Bye for now. Things are never what they seem to be. Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Show some love, hold each other's hand